What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Friday Brad Them Reaction back with a reaction video and today we are back with a new reaction video for you and it's gonna be a little different. As you can already see by the title, it's a reaction about what's dating like for black people in Korea. Um we're gonna try something different today. This is not a music video. I repeat, this is not a music video. Stay tuned. Make sure you go smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the bell notification post so you can be notified every time the reaction drop a new video. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss anything. Do not come here trying to find a wife. Please do not. I feel more single being here. Koreans love black men. They love us. If you date in one person, you probably date in five more people behind it. Where are you from and um, how long have you been living in Korea? I am from the U.S. I've been in Korea for two years now. Dang, I ain't gonna lie. They making Korea sound like it's a free place to date whoever, whenever, however. Hey, damn, what the fuck? Hi guys, my name is Moon. I'm actually in. She fired though, like. Yeah, damn. My name is South Korea, and I come from France. Hi, my name is Brandy from Jersey. What is dating like for you as a black person in Korea? It's all right. I haven't had any issues. It's very diverse. It's the same as the States. So dating in Korea, man, everybody is with the same people. So if you date in one person, you probably date in five more people behind. Fuck you mean, my boy? What you mean? One person dating the same people, like... What you mean by that, bro? To be honest with you, it's a lot of stuff going on out here, but you know, it's it's a fun place. It's a fun place. I think because I've heard like negative things in the past. I ain't gonna lie, that jacket, that shit go dumb. My son fit go crazy. You can tell like my son might definitely be a model type shit. He's definitely tapped in into the fashion world because this is not no regular jacket. And you, as you can see, my son got the rings on. You feel me? He got the calm shades on type shit with the turtleneck and everything calm fit i'm not gonna lie he killing it i'm kind of hesitant in general like i'm not really i am confident in myself but i'm quite like shy when it comes to dating so i'm even more shy when i come to korea because i couldn't suspect like oh does that guy like me or is he talking about me because i can't really speak korean i can understand like you know weigook and all of these like words like foreigner words but i'm quite cautious i wouldn't even like my friends like oh go on the app what about this but it's kind of like what if i face so much rejection or what if like they just like me because i'm black versus actually liking me like i actually had some embarrassing she got a good point there you feel me like like i've heard rumors that black people are like fantasized over there by other people like that's from that place or whatever so i'm not really sure how it really is out there until like i really get to visit myself and experience and i'm ready <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm ready, bro. Like, come on. Like, you love black people? Welcome black people. Like, come on, man. The day some guy in the club, he was like, oh, I really like Latinas. And I was like, I'm not Latina. And he's like, yeah, but. And I'm like, it's not but. Like, you know, if you can't get my race right, then you already, like, lose. In general, Facts. I feel like Korea is such a couple place. Like, everywhere you go, like, even here, there's so many couples. Everyone's dating. You go to a cafe, people are on dates. Like, sometimes they're even just, like, with their laptops, sitting next to each other, doing their own thing, but they're together. I feel more single being here. And as a black person, I don't have the, unfortunately, confidence to be like oh yeah let me just go up to that guy because the language barrier and in korea it but like she's a woman though like i don't even know why she's stressing for because you should really be sit back and relax and let the men come to you type shit like she ain't really gotta worry about going and initiate no conversations because in today's world it's us that be putting in the works like we gotta have our pickup lines ready and our looks ready like our swag ready um to even approach a woman nowadays you feel me so um she ain't really got nothing to worry about she good looking she she got pretty hair you know what i'm saying like calm style she looked like she could be a really loyal trustworthy um um you know educated black woman from the uk based on her accent i'm guessing she's from out there 
very obvious that like white is the standard white is like preferred like a lighter shade and if a white girl and a black girl were like standing next to each other i, I feel like nine times out of ten they would choose the white girl because it's kind of what they've been shown as popular and mainstream but who exactly is she talking about though what type of men is she talking about is she talking about korean men or like any man that's just in korea in general you know what i'm saying and attractive so yeah i mean there are the odd cases where people korean guys are dating black girls but fingers crossed you know yeah you never know because me i don't have a type like i like every black white asian whatever but I'm, i feel like they look at me and that's like the last option i'm married but i have friends and you know i know their story and all but just hearing their story it's complicated it could be real complicated like if you don't have anybody that's loyal and that's really willing to work things out hey that's the same guy if that yo my son just switch up the fit completely you got my son be putting it on i'm not even gonna lie that that coat is crazy once again bro my son is killing it i fuck with it or go through different things with you it's gonna be complicated you never know if the female have somebody on the side it's complicated but why do you think it's complicated being here in a whole nother country it's you have to learn the other language if you if you are willing to date a korean but koreans here hey they good looking for real That's so hold on you telling me the korean girls none of them know how to speak english though like it's hard to believe actually you feel me one of the main perks like why do i gotta learn how to speak korean in order for me to speak to you type shit you know what i'm saying it's like it's like you telling me like being in america you have to know how to speak english to bag a girl which is not true because like there's many different races living out there spanish-speaking women um Creole speaking women, French speaking women, you know what I'm saying? Like there's people from all over the place. And as one of them mentioned earlier in the video, it's a pretty diverse place. So like, why exactly do you need to know how to speak Korean? If you get what I'm trying to say, you feel me? Like, like I said, you have to learn a language. And I would say if you know their language to them, that that is sexy. I, I say it's like, so basically, okay. Okay, I get it. It's more like a turn on for them if you actually like it. It's more like a turn on for them, and it's easier for you to get them if you know how to speak their language. Which I mean, you feel me? A black man speaking Korean—that's fire, right there. You know, I'm jacking that. Fifty is either they absolutely disgusted with me or they love me. It's either one or the other. I'm gonna be honest. Personally, non-Korean citizens is like everybody doing them. Like ain't no relationships out here. Do not come here trying to find a wife. Please do not, or do not come out here trying to find a man unless they stay inside and they all about themselves and they prove to you that you not look for it. Let it come to you, please. I'm saving you a lot of heartache. I've been through it already. <laughs> by the first week, by the second week. My son looking like he's speaking from experience. I was heartbroken. <laughs> Already, so. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a very interesting thing. I'd say it's kind of, like, hard, because, I don't know, I feel like even though Korea's becoming more open, it's still, like, they still have a lot of stereotypes against black women. So the real question for me is, is it easier for black men or men of colors to date in Korea? compared to women black women and women of color because it seems like it might be harder for the women because if the korean men have a specific type like let's say like if they like lighter shades of complexion and then you know what i'm saying and out here so they either think we're like really like easy or like down the try like a lot of things or they're like, um, you know, kind of just want to try. I don't know. I feel like they go in with them, like, intentions, and it's kind of, like, awkward or weird. To be honest, I never, ever date a Korean guy. If no, I ain't gonna lie to her. She, like, typed my favorite, like, something about her face, something about the look, you feel me? Like, the edges, the swag, the hair. I fuck with her, bro. The jacket, you know?
be possible, but for me, I'm a tall girl, black. The first thing I noticed when I tried to, when I said I tried to, is like fir flirting with a guy, or else I really felt the difference between being a foreigner girl as a black. I can't really tell. Wait, 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 wait. I think she mentioned that she's from France, actually, you know? Am I bugging? person and also uh, the Korean girls they like separate the both and I was so shocked because I thought about the fact that since when doesn't matter like where you come from or your skin color it should be only like the personality or if yeah if you feel attracted to that person but I was like I'm black I'm really tall and I do speak Korean so I was like trying the both way Okay, let's see if what what's the problem. So first, uh, if I talk with a guy, I can feel like really okay to speak in Korean, okay to speak in English. But then when I saw that some of the guys that I wanted were like not really into it, I really felt directly what was the problem. Only my skin color and where I came from. And you just made mention as like you're tall. I can I can see that. Like how tall are you? Uh, one eighty two centimeters. So how would you you know oh, see your like experience as being shit. being like a tall black woman like in the dating community in Korea? I think I'm a little bit out of it. <laughs> like for one, I haven't really like, dated in Korea, but I do recognize a huge difference, uh, especially as like working in the club area. Mm -hmm. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, my son really be switching the fits though, like, you go crazy. <laughs> Being the way how black men and women are viewed and dealt with versus like other ethnicities, specifically like white people. Most of the time that I see like interracial couples is mostly like Korean and white, whereas a lot of times as black people are seen as like fetishized or like a fun time. Wait, hold on. I think I might have made a mistake. Is it? Japanese that like black people or Korean because the from what they're telling me right now like Korean don't really like black people like that but I know like one of them um Asian countries that they love seeing black people like when they see black people they be amazed or whatever like it's just like I don't know if that's true but that's what I'd be hearing on the internet or whatever you know, so I don't really see serious relationships with us, just like someone making out with like a black person. Or for me, people always telling me like, oh, you're so hot, your body's so hot, blah, blah, blah. But like no one ever like going like the next step to create a relationship. It's just right there in the moment. Would you say, you know, like dating for you, it's a lot easier or like it's just, I don't know, like a lot harder. Like how, how would you, you know, like rate it? Personally, it's a lot harder just because I'm mainly pro-black. So I literally have to step outside of my comfort zone, like to even talk to them because I'm pro-black. I mainly date black women. That's just, that's just my thing. I'm from Alabama. I'm from the South. That's... I ain't gonna lie. That sounds like someone I know. <laughs> It's just what it is where I'm from, you know? To directly answer your question, I would, it's, it's not hard. As long as you know a little bit of Korean, they know a little bit of English, it's like, yeah, I can make it work. So one, one of the first things that I heard from basic training was Koreans love black men. They love us. They bold here. They, yeah, like, they really are bold. Yeah, yeah, if you keep it P, you keeping it P, everybody going to gravitate towards you, you know? The only time it's really... Yo, I ain't gonna lie. My son using the word P all the way in Korea is crazy. <laughs> they could say you got to keep it B. But the date out here is if you secluded, if you stay by yourself, if you stay in the room, and you're not a person that really likes to go out, it's gonna be hard for you. So how would you say the dating culture in Korea is different from that of America? I would say like the dating culture here in Korea is very love bomby and it's like very like fast paced. My friend went on two dates and then after the guy wanted to be like her boyfriend and I'm like, what? You know, so I think in America, like that doesn't fly. You know, you have to get to know someone first before you date them because you could be a whole serial killer. And you're trying to date me after a week, you know? I don't want to say the aggressive. Why is serial killer is always the first thing in mind? Like, bro, like, is this being a serial killer the biggest concern you can have? Like, what if the nigga's a gangbanger? Isn't that as bad as being a serial killer? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's two people that kill people, you know what I'm saying? Except that the serial killer mostly kill innocent people. I mean, it's a little bit more frightening. I get it, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Aggressiveness of dating, but like a lot of it, it's in comparison to the states, it's a bit more commercialized and aggressive. Cause you have like the celebration of 100 days, 200 days, three, four, five, whatever, and then you have Pepperell Day, Valentine's Day, White Day, and Black Day, and like so many other like things surrounding dating as far as like commercial wise. Whereas in the states, you have Valentine's Day, anniversary, and in some states, you have this thing called Swedish day which is like in october so it's not like a significantly wow you learn something every day i i didn't know about that sweet sweetest day he said commercial wise whereas in the states you have valentine's day anniversary and in some states you have this thing called sweetest day oh sweetness day i didn't even know about that is this a thing y'all not in new york maybe i don't know I've never heard of that term before, to be honest with y'all. It's like in October. So it's not like a significantly less amount of like celebrations and stuff happening on a couple like level and stuff. So it's very different in that regard. And then you also have like the pressure of like everybody. It's like such a regular question to hear here. Oh, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Or why aren't you dating? Whereas in the States, the only time you'd hear that is either from like old people or somebody that's like wanting Thanks. to date you. So when I hear people ask, Asking me like, oh, do you have a girlfriend? Why don't you have a girlfriend? My immediate thought is they must want me. <laughs> it's like, no, it's just a regular question that people ask here because that's how prominent dating is in this country. What is your ideal type? It's like my height or taller than me with uh, long hair. So I like long hair guys. The height is the most important. If he has long hair, I'm I would be a four on her list type shit god damn long hair like i'm damn near bald at this point you know what i'm saying like she i should have kept my braids god damn i just missed a whole opportunity bro damn now i'll never get to speak to her no more i'm sad if it doesn't, it's okay. And then the personality for sure. What if it's shorter than you? I don't discriminate. Like, I can have maybe a crush on him, but if I just judge on the appearance, I will not, like, turn around for a shorter guy because I will think he's not attracted to me too. What is one advice you would actually give to, you know, like, all the people of color, or the black people, come to Korea, you know, like, once to date? Like, what advice would you give to them? Keep it P. My main advice is make sure you're ready and make sure you have some knowledge when it comes to relationships. If you come to South Korea, no need to look for someone to date. Just enjoy the country. If you find your love, like, God bless. If you don't... I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, bro. There's no way I'm coming from America all the way to Korea to find love and a wife. If I go out there, like, like any other foreign countries, like, it's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Maybe that's where you might really found your soul, find your soulmates, but it's like, I don't know. Like, you usually, when you go out overseas, bro, you go out there for, to have fun, like, to explore, to try new things and see different things and different people and different stuff and things of that nature you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like the end of the world really don't lose any self-esteem here try to understand who you need and who you are first like your value and if these people don't accept you like you are as you are just don't try to push them and don't try to make them accept it if they don't that's their problem just be who you are and love yourself love you thanks <laughs> facts yes sir there you have it um what's dating like for black people in korea um we got to hear a little bit from a few guys and a few um women as well you feel me um different perspectives different ideas about the whole topic um some people fine with it some people is not really too happy with it like as far as like the date um the dating situation in korea um it is what it is me personally if i go out there i already know exactly what i'm gonna go for like i'm not really going out to a wife anybody you feel me like it is what it is um but when i'm in the states i'm more so like a conservative loyal looking for 
a partnership, um, you know, a ride or die type vibe. You feel me? Because that's my home um, state. You feel me? And this is where I want to, you know, start some and build on it. You feel me? Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this reaction, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, let me know. Leave a link. Like anything, bro. Like help us help you enjoy the content that we put out on this channel. Um, is then reaction. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Bye, bye.